I've got a couple of old electric kilns sitting at the corner of my studio here, so I've decided to transform one of them into a Raku kiln. I have taken away the footing or the stand and place, replaced it with a metal trolley so that I could move it around. Here I have removed the electrical panel and I'm going to stuff the holes with uh, fiber. Then there are two peep holes here just to reduce my work so I'm just going to enlarge the hole at the bottom here. So the first thing that we are doing in this project is to tighten this metal belt around the lid of this old electric kiln because um, the existing metal has already deteriorated. Okay, now that we have got it tightened, it's time to enlarge the opening of the peephole. The metal casing around the kiln is actually very soft, so you can use the scissors to cut it and then pliers to slowly peel off the metal. And if you carefully do it, you can actually peel it in a circular form, like this. Once we get the metal casing out of the way, we will just use this blade and saw through the brick. Once it's done, we just need to file down the sides of the metal. So this is how it looks like after we have cleaned it up and that's where the burner goes. On the inside, there are three posts. So this is where the fire comes out, hits the center and will be deflected to the left and the right. I have also placed a piece of fiber at the bottom of the shelf. This is due to a big crack at the bottom and the fiber will protect it. Now let's put in the shelf to have a look. There's space around it, so that's good. Fire will be able to travel.